It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And here's the pick artist himself, Trayvon Diggs, who's been stepping up to challenges all season, now at eight interceptions. It's the Cowboys and the Commanders, and it's coming up next. It's the National Football League, presented by EA Sports. Today, we've got a matchup here at Pivotal Week 7 between the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this Commanders team coming into play here today. They come in with some fresh legs as they got the week off last week thanks to the early season bye. And usually you hope your bye comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get fresh legs back, you take that time and you run with it. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Cowboys, they've got all W's on the ledger so far. A perfect 6-0. Yeah, still a long way to go in this season, but they're showing everyone early on that they intend to be there in the end. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This will be fielded inside the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They will be led out by their dual threat quarterback, the veteran from Clemson. It's Deshaun Watson. And what a performance in his last game. A couple touchdown passes. That was positive. But more than two interceptions. Yeah, that's not what he's looking for. What did Vince Lombardi say, though? Winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. And that's what he hangs his hat on after last week's game. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Out of the gun, Watson. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know that funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this team. Watson, a little touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Cowboys at 6-0. What a start to the season for them. They have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning, you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. And if we keep doing this, we'll be playing at home in the postseason. And we know that that could ride us all the way to the Super Bowl if we get that done. From the gun, here's Watson. This is intercepted. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for the Commanders touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back to the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7 0 game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Taken in at the three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And remember, they were 
just out here a moment ago. He threw the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines to run in for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. First down, it's Watson. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Watson. That is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And coming up of an early season open week. And in this situation, what he told us when we sat down with him was he spent a lot of time working on fundamentals, kind of getting back to basics during that time, as opposed to having to worry about healing up or resting up. It's too early in the season. Get back to the basics, get his game going again. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Out of the gun now on third down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. 69 yards. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Extra point safely through. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Taken in at the three. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. 
The football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Throwing again on second and ten. Watson. And that is incomplete. Well, it hasn't been a better first half for the defense trying to cover him today. But they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. Throwing on third down. Watson. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And a punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. A nice run back there off the good punt. And it's a 16-yard return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. These two teams, you might recall, met up back in September in week three. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll set up a throw. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 39. 12 yards there as they move the chains. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they played extremely well last week in the win over Atlanta. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield, but all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Now on comes the Washington field goal unit. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call. They're opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. On second and nine, Watson. And this one is incomplete. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. 
Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker. And this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. On first and ten, Watson steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And take it right on the 30. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. So a nightmare start to the drive as they're already staring at second and long. They'll drop the throw. And that's incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. They're going to look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 38. Escaping the pressure right. And that's caught inside the 35. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one good for 37 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. From the 22, Watson eluding the pressure. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And it looks like, yes, the Commanders have it. He tried to buy some time to the right. So in terms of when a guy gets out of the pocket, what's the focus of the court? Most of them keep their eyes downfield. They want to try and make a play throwing the ball. But some of them, they want to tuck it and go. But when they scramble, in this case, as you said, to the right, you're cutting the field. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks in the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. 
Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Looking to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes it, the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason builds up. But this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first he, quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200-plus right now. Flush to his right. And this is going to be incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good, and the lead will hold at 10. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Watson's throw pulled in by Lamb. He's got room at the 30. Down to the 10. Touchdown! C.D. Lamb with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. And here we go on the next drive for Washington. Coming off every player's friend, the open week from last weekend. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over a little bit, right? Rest up the mind, rest up the body, get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now they'll run it on the top. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a football return touchdown by the Cowboys. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> Point after, right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. 
And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. Looking for a bounce back. Had the fumble a moment ago that went for a touchdown the other direction. See if he can get back in rhythm. And you have to be very careful about having too quick of a hook with really good players. I did a guy's game in high school where he fumbled three times in the first quarter, finished with over 300 yards on the night, later ended up in the NFL. If you got a talented back, give it back to him. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. The offense on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Back to throw here. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, he'll drop to throw. On the catch, it's Crowder. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Second and one. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. I and mean, what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. The extra point splits the uprights, and that pushes the lead up to 11. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Again, he'll drop the throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Holding offense. down mark. 
marker at the 31. It's third down. Back to throw again. Flushed it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack. Put him on the ground. But when you can also... And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this Previous just to make sure... Review. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here are the Cowboys to take over. Their win streak at six coming in and counting as they've got the lead right now beginning this drive first and 10. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Faking the give, now Watson. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Well, they sit him on the blitz from that linebacker's spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it was hard for anyone to react. Third and long, it's Watson. And the throw there going to be oh, incomplete. Slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The beautiful fake. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this. Or keeps hitting the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Second and nine now. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Now back to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 26. That'll put him over 100 yards receiving now here in this first half of action. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. They go play action here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. 
Touchdown, Washington. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Commanders are back within a score. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Ben, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. you got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides. But sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. This time it's third and three. Over the middle, it's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. <laughs> Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. On second and 10, Watson. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's gonna be a first down. Well done. That's good for 28 yards. It's a nice zone breaker right there. Take the tight end, move him out to the slot, then have him run a corner route versus the zone coverage, which means he's going to be behind the, the, the shallow coverage and ahead of the deep coverage, put the ball right on him. Now a first down throw, Watson. That's going to be caught. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. George Kittle, 23 yards for the touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So the drive there took six plays. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He already with a couple of touchdown throws in this first half as his guys start first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> and he will go down, a cowboy sack. Micah Parsons, he continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. <laughs> On third down, they're going to run for it here. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now to punt this one away.
42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And they will take over first and 10. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Here's Watson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now they'll run on the draw. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Throwing on third down, Watson. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. We'll get started out at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. And that one nearing halftime. In fact, it's gone to halftime with the Falcons in command. Drake London, two touchdown catches in that first half alone. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Tampa Bay Bucks. Elijah Moore, well over 100 yards with two touchdown catches to boot. Finally, let's get out to Southern Nevada and see what's happening with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. And they've got the lead in that ball game over the visiting 49ers. Juju Smith-Schuster, a touchdown reception. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on this secondary to the tune of 200-plus yards already through two quarters. Meanwhile, for Washington, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. With both of these offenses having their way, it's not likely they'll need to be doing a whole lot at halftime, but the defenses are definitely in need of some adjusting. And for the call of the second half, let's go back out to Brandon and Charles. Yeah, Coach, certainly no shortage of action in those first two quarters. Definitely got to work on my touchdown calls, so we'll see how much voice I have left for the second half here. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And he loses the football a second time. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. So it's kind of more of the same offensively. This was a team needing to come out of this third quarter with a little fire. Instead, they put the ball on the ground. And you know that has to be the discussion at halftime because they're down two scores. We've got to come out with a little bit more urgency than we had in the first half. Now that urgency falls on their defense because they can't fall down three scores and hope to come back and win this game. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. They started this drive backed up against the wall by the turnover. But I love their fight. Planted their feet and forced the incompletion on first down. To throw once more on second and ten. Watson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards. A 12-yard loss. And it brings up third. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, with talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. A sack like that, maybe that can get him going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said, that they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. Open man lamb. It's complete. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that goes as a gain of 37 on third down. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. They'll try to run this one in, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. A great effort there with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Just a four-play drive that time, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. I see shaking the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He'll look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. Point after, right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, Watching this blow out, let's just say it's been unusual. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll look to throw here. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Two yards on the pickup there. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. He'll drop to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He'll look to set up his blockers. 
Seven yards on the return Good after a punt of 39. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, C.D. Lamb at wide receiver as he brings out this offense. Where he stands right now, as you see, already over 1,000. You have to think 2,000 is a real possibility. Long way to go in the season, but what he's done so far, spectacular. It is, and you know what he's also hoping for? That he's going to play a lot of man coverage from here on out because one of the best ways to slow down production is to go to zone and double, triple team, put a number of people in the area that you expect him to run into. But man to man, everything hurts. Fumbles it. And now he's got him in a great spot at the eight yard line here, first and goal. Let's see now, Charles. That's seven turnovers between last week and this week. Three here in this game, four in last week's game. Do my research right and i go all the way back to the best coaches that have ever been in this game and all of them started with ball security in some form or another understanding that taking care of the ball was the key to winning games they can't believe what they're seeing right now because they spend all this time on it with the fundamentals taking care of it tucking it away and they're not doing it and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll set up a throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Micah Parsons picks up his second sack of the afternoon. He's NFL sack leader coming into the game. And now that's two more that he's added to his total. He wants some separation from spot one and two in that sack category. No, the no, commander's going to bring out the field goal hey, hey, unit. Broncos, it'll be from the right check, hash, check, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Check, check, man, man. And his kick is good. And they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. So the fumble recovery had him set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Cowboys are about set to take over on offense. They're just looking to do more of the same. They were good in the first half. They've extended their lead so far here in the second half. I don't know, they're just looking good on all, hitting on all cylinders right now. And sometimes that means a head coach who really has a finger on the pulse of the team may not have anything to say at all. May tell the rest just of the coach just a little bit. Just back it off a little bit. This team has it under control. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in basketball. Getting ready to give the final speech before the gold medal game in 84. And on the board, Michael Jordan wrote, had written, Coach, after all we've been through, there's no way we're losing tonight. He didn't even give a pregame speech. Wow, interesting. Well, right now, no speech is needed. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Play action. Here's Hurts. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he is caught by Lamb. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. They're going for it with the option right. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And Washington will have it on the turnover on downs. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. 
And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't okay, quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. On second down, they'll run it here. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. And looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. Ball start. Offense. Well, this old line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Okay, yeah, I would ready. think so, because we are grading them on their performance in this game. A lot of pluses in their boxes so far. They run the counter now on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, if this defense has any hopes of getting back into this game, they've got to start right here and keep these guys out of the end zone. That's a good step one on that play. Eluding the pressure right. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep... And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. Well, they come through with three after forcing the turnover. But CD, second half, you're starting inside the red zone, obviously. They would have liked six out of that. Absolutely, because that's all you're thinking is, how do you get it into the end zone? You want the field goal to be the last resort? In this case, they gave it a great try, but did have to settle for three. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. A nice play design there with a the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having work. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big. And now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that old, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. Here's Logan Cook now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. That's taken it around the 40. And he will 
score. Touchdown, Cowboys. He returns the punt 60 yards. And the Cowboys get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Well, it certainly feels like that kind of game, doesn't it? No matter what they do, it's going to work. That might be the absolute crusher right there. A punt return for a touchdown. It feels like there's been a lot of crushers in this game. This lead just gets bigger. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So we know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department, and he showcases it there all the way back for six. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Washington offense set to take over. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational, CD. That is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators, and they say a sack as a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Now, nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. But first down, Hurts. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. And the Commanders are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Here's a second and seven. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. As many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. They're going to look to throw. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Multiple rushers break through to drop him for the seventh time this game. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. He'll look to throw. This one caught by Crowder. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. They'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is going to be intercepted. 
Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there. Cowboys. Well, Charles, I mean, when you look at the stat sheet, ultimately one thing sticks out like a sore thumb. One side lost this game because they turned the ball over four times, and that, that was just too much for them to overcome. And that number might as well be a neon because you're exactly right. It just jumps up from the stat sheet. Your eyes go right to it. And with that many turnovers, they really played themselves out of this game. Too careless with the football too many times, that cost them the victory. So for Dallas, their winning ways continue as they get it up to 7-0. and And they will head home next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for Washington, the losses are piling up as they drop to 1-5 and now. And they'll try again next week at home against Philadelphia.